I'm standing in the Oakwood trailer park. Over the past three years, Philip Fletcher and the City of Hope Outreach have donated much of their time and their resources into making Oakwood a safe community for its citizens. The City of Hope Outreach Director Philip Fletcher has been active in Oakwood for three years. I spoke with Fletcher about the City of Hope recently purchasing a mobile home that they are working to make into the headquarters of the nonprofit. What the trailer is going to be used for is as basically a community center called the Hope Community Center and it'll serve uh, the people here in Oakwood and the surrounding areas even if they don't live here in Oakwood. Oakwood resident Rebecca Bray has already seen the City of Hope Outreach's impact in her community. Ever since, since the City of Hope Outreach came to Oakwood, it has been better. It's been peaceful. It's been loving, caring. Many of the City of Hope Outreach's volunteers are college students looking for something that Fletcher believes is very hard to find. And a lot of college kids is really looking uh, to, to just live out their faith. One such student is UCA senior Tommy Gein, who believes he has found something special in the people at Oakwood. They're so open, you know. They, uh, they've, hit, they've already hit rock bottom, a lot of them, and so they really just open up. The City of Hope Outreach also has plans to open a shelter for the homeless in Conway. We were donated a uh, piece of land and a uh, property uh, and what that's going to serve is, is our Hope Shelter and what we want to do there is really be that uh, an assistance to people like Bethlehem House as a transitional shelter or uh, the women's shelter. As long as organizations like the City of Hope Outreach continue working in communities such as Oakwood, Conway can continue to be a safe place for its people. For News 6, I'm Jared Bridgman.